What is up guys, Joe Snow right here. So in today's video we're discussing again about the iOS 10.1.1 jailbreak and I'm going to keep you updated on what happened the last days. So for those of you who still want to jailbreak their iOS 10.1.1 devices, uh, there is a new update on the Yalu jailbreak for iOS 10.1.1 created by QWERTY WorryUp and it's the beta 4 basically. The first iteration was the beta 3, the one that I informed you about, because the beta 1 and beta 2 were some fails that were after that replaced with the beta 3. And now the beta 4, but unfortunately the beta 4 doesn't contain uh, any new changes for the uh, other devices that were not supported for the moment. And this is why I didn't rush to make a video about it. Uh, we're expecting a gamma release or um, the next release from QWERTY Worry Up after the uh, 3.3 C3 event. Uh, he tweeted about the fact that he forgot to take the code with him on his MacBook when he... Um, when he departed to the uh, 3.3 C3, which means that he will not be able to, to work on the jailbreak for the moment as 3.3 C3 as he planned. He will be able though to, um, to work on bug fixes because he has a jailbroken device with him. He tweeted that a couple of uh, hours ago. Right, so what are the changes on the beta 4? If you're already on the uh, list of devices that are supported for the moment, being them the iPhone 6s on iOS 10.1.1 or 10.1, or being it iPad, uh, iPad Pro, I think, and the iPhone 7, then you get the beta 4, which contains basically um, the uh, mobile substrate. Finally, it works because you probably remember I told you on my channel right here, uh, Heck, like this. I made a video in here, uh, in one of these, ah, here. In this video, I told you not to enable the substrate uh, three days ago. Basically, there was a substrate fix for the beta 3 that uh, could, of course, get your device in an even more unstable state than the jailbreak actually put your device in. And now the beta 4 contains a stable version of mobile substrate that actually work, in theory, maybe. Right, uh, device support still not changed, as you can see from here. Uh, Pros XP hangs rather than uh, panicking. Well, a couple of fixes, minor fixes here and there. And OS or iOS should be way more stable, he says. Well, this is a little bit um, hard to tell because it depends from the device to device and from what you installed. So again, a, a little bit of message in here. I would recommend you not to install uh, stashers, uh, to install tools, to install hard tweaks and so on. Try to avoid themes for the moment. Try to avoid uh, tweaks that change the operating system uh, dramatically because this is still a beta, this is still extremely unstable, and you don't want to kill your jailbreak before it works, right? And um, yeah, basically this is uh, what he created for the moment. The planet feature is for the Gamma release, will be more device supported, but I can tell you already there will be no 32-bit devices at all. It will support 64-bit devices, but will it will not support 32, unfortunately. It will fix this pros XP, it will fix M map hook for MFEI checks, and mobile substrate works thanks to a dirty hook. He will probably try to find another way. Uh, those dirty hooks are a little bit bad because you know it's not that stable, it's not that good. It's better to find a method that is actually working properly and not with, uh, with uh, hacks. Right, so basically this is it about this this new version. You can download it from here. Uh, you can still download the uh, the beta 3 if you want, but the mirror, this mirror right here with the beta 4, although he says it's broken, it works for me, at least. You can see it downloads the, uh, the beta 4. And uh, you can check out to see if you downloaded the correct thing by doing this, SHA sum, right. But keep in mind, I also made a couple of video in here uh, telling you about the compatibility and the devices. A couple of days ago, um, there was somebody that released a, uh, an IPA that he claimed it's the uh, Look at the Desk of Jailbreak, but compatible with all 64 devices. And he put the link on Look at the Desk's mentions page, which, yeah, everybody could have seen it. 
I made a video about that here. If you did not see it, go ahead. It's pretty important. Why? Because it's your safety concerning here. And basically, I also uh, announced on Twitter on December 25 during Christmas a warning that there is an IPA that simulates iOS 10.1.1 jailbreak that is basically malware. It is being promoted on replies to look at a desk. Right, so um, be very careful what IPA you download. If you're still into downloading the betas and so on, even though I don't recommend you to mess with these betas, I make these videos just to keep you informed on what happens but would be better for you not to, um, to mess up with them because they're not stable and people tend to install um, UCA tools, uh, stashers, uh, iFile, um, terminal and so on and various kind of themes and tweaks and so on and they might get to break their devices because this is not the average jailbreak you know and you're used Two, it is a beta created for beta testers and for developers to be able to adapt their tweaks and their themes with iOS 10.1.1 before a uh, final release so that everything went smooth at that point, but not really for the masses to work with. So this is why in my previous videos in here, I always recommended you in this video, you can watch it. It's pretty interesting if you want to watch it about jailbreak being safe or not on Tempo 1.1. You can uh, get a couple of my points why you should stay a little bit away of this so-called jailbreak for the moment until it gets at least in the gamma stage. But anyways, this is basically it, guys. So be sure to only download the IPA from Tedesco's official uh, meter. And yeah, do not forget to stay safe, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.